I love this movie. Like, I like to go into movies really unaware. Yeah. Just, I want to enjoy them. I don't want to go in knowing what to expect. Started the movie here, ended the movie on the edge of my seat. Like, yes, no, yeah. no, oh my God. <laughs> it was so good. What was it like for you two guys crafting these characters and this story? And did you know you had it when you did it? For me, it's, again, like, not, not again, but being in the space with people who you just want to share space with and that you want to continue to create with and you want to continue to grow with. And to me, like, that's... It's always getting it when that's the case. So I feel like we got it every time, every second we were on the set. Like, because, you know, yeah. you share space well, with people. Well, he's also, yeah, you're very zen and he's very in the moment where, versus I get out and I spin myself out of control. Um, so I, yeah, I mean, you think you nailed it and you see it and you didn't nail anything. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think that Susanna, you didn't quite know what she was going to pick and choose from what you thought you nailed and what you crash and burned with. So she was able to extricate things that you never saw in a million years coming. You didn't know that that's the point of view. She was, you know, she has a really intimate point of view of people as human beings. So, I mean, it was just nice to be in a room. Just you have someone that looks at you like that. You know, they're listening. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. It's so simple. There was a scene where I feel like it not only clicked for me, but it clicked for everyone. I mean, I don't know how you guys did this, but your character says, uh, you, when he's telling the story to the kids mm -hmm. and then she confronts him and he goes you have to promise them dreams that may never come true. You have true. to love them even though you might lose them. I just like <gasps> I think about that and I'm like <laughs> Right, I'm yeah. like oh my god I'm writing yeah. that down like that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. But I wanted to know uh, I remember all the things my mother told me. Mother told me I could be anything I wanted to be mm -hmm. and, I, and that wasn't the case back then. Maybe now it is. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to be a wrestler. Yeah. Uh, what was it that you guys were promised as kids that you was like, you know what? It instilled, it fueled you to become who you are today. I want to hear what your mom did because she sounds like an amazing woman. What did she do to... What did she do to inspire you to give you that confidence? Just constantly, my mother and my grandmother both just constantly beat into me how much of a king I was and how worthy I was always and am and work ethic and having a good heart is all you need to succeed but she did but most kids who are told you're the king you're the best turn up to be a-holes a <laughs> right, but well. you're you are the exact opposite so something that they instilled I mean I'm sure it was God given when you're born but what you have something that is so humble and modest and communal and and mm. not like you're not up on a throne I mean that's you know when a kid's told you're a king you're like that's right and you just get higher than everyone but you, you don't have that thank you Sandy that's true. I mean, yeah, I yeah. My parents didn't give me anything. They beat me. <laughs> Mine's yeah. did too. Yeah. Uh, what was, uh, it worked. It worked. It was good. What's one thing that children in your life have taught you? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm start crying. So you, tell, you talk. The I children talk in my life? The children in your life. I see you putting well, a let's, No, no. Let's go to the mother first for that. Um, that I had absolutely no idea what love was about. Mm -hmm. None at all. Don't, and I have to leave because then I'll get on this team. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to say the same thing, uh, but I learned it from my mother as well. So it's just a, like a purity or just, yeah, just it, being around children have kind of uh, helped me identify honesty, I guess. No, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Right. Good honesty one. and yeah. being in the moment. Yeah. Godzilla! Yeah. Zilla, bitch!